Okay, in my genius ossitude, I've decided we're going to try and finish another quest or two real quick before we do the, uh, am I going the right way? No. Before we do the mansion, because we almost have blood boil. Oh, he knows which jack I'm talking about. Well, there was someone, uh, E said something about he wanted to leave town before, like, the seer told him that they all needed to leave town before Jack came out of the box. I don't know if they meant Jack personally, or the sarcophagus, or what. I'm gonna see if this is a quest over here, I don't know. Because there should have been stuff happening over here. But I don't know if doing the Plague Bearer quest messed it up. Because if it's messed up, I don't know what to do about it. Huh. The alley away from the bar. I might have to look stuff up. Oh, I go in here. Duh. Shit. I'm an idiot. Well, we were almost executed, but someone stood up for us and said, Hey, you can't just go killing baby vampires. This looks like it went well. Whatever this was. How you doing? Did you see it? Uh, what do you see? These two guys, the dead guy and the other, and uh, well, they showed up. Uh, I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Uh-huh. Who was the other guy? The dead fella called him Muddy. Hey, I'm looking for Muddy. So the dead guy and Muddy, what were they doing uh, here? They was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting when he was late. So the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Oh, that's when the killer, yeah, that's when he showed up. Oh. Huh. Well, what did he do? One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I like to scream, but I couldn't breathe. Then what happened? Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The dead guy went white like he seen the devil. And then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What'd he say? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was, and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow. Made the guy. This is the uh, boardwalk serial killer. Uh, what happened to Muddy? No, he never come back. Okay, well nothing happened, and you should go home. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to ever think about that again. We don't get humanity for sparing him, but did get a masquerade redemption. We don't need. Boxes? We haven't done box jumping in a while. I went over the fire the first time I did this. I don't recommend it. Ooh, car stereo. I can give that to Larry. And a key to the Lucky Star Motel. So, if we check our bloody mess... No, that's that. Mud Hunt! We found the shredded body of Milton at an abandoned warehouse, but Durbin is nowhere to be found. You did find a key to the Lucky Star Motel. You talked to a bum inside an abandoned warehouse. Seen in Alaska is the Revenge. Okay. So, good stuff. Now we'll go do the werewolf thing, and that should give us another experience. Oh yeah, that is true. Now go somewhere else and forget what you saw. That was a uh, domination. That is how we are able to solve problems without necessarily murdering people. He doesn't remember anything. It's the best. It's not as good as dementation or hysteria, whatever it was. It's pretty great, though. All right, let's get back to Santa Monica. Find some blood. You look like you're full of blood. Eh, but there's hobos everywhere. Dance. Yeah, this seems okay. Do a quick save just in case. In case this goes poorly. Keep walking, old man. You didn't see nothing. Not today. Yeah, I guess. Whatever you say. No, that wasn't a hobo. That was a nice guy. That was a middle class dude. 
Um, I don't think so. I know it was pretty tore up. It was impressively tore up. Okay, any other experience we can garner? Ground Pisha. Yeah, we can't do Pisha's thing. Need a ride? Yep. Okay, so and there's Grout's Mansion. I want to go back to San Monica real quick. Uh, no, they can they can feed on normies. They just can't feed on bums. Well, and they can even feed on bums. It just has a chance of throwing up. They can't. They don't feed on rats. Too good for rats. Lovely evening. Shut up, you. Ah, the asylum. Also true. No, Muddy was just a dude. Muddy was... He's being killed by a vampire, though. Okay, so we need to get up here where this guard is. Asshole. Not dealing with your bullshit. Okay. Uh, camera. Uh, camera one. Um, quit. Need to get to the other computer. Stop shooting me! Prick. Is this one? one. Yeah, I don't know. He's not supposed to. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna feel bad about this, but I'm getting real tired of your bullshit. Store. We can do most of these, I think. Dosage. Yeah, but it would. Ha oh shit, you're right. Yeah, they stay woozy for a good long while. Eh, whatever. So we unlocked a bunch of doors. Well, he's also not going to cause us any problems dead, so there is that. That's Malcolm's password, if for some reason you weren't able to hack it. I think it's like hack level 3, though, so there's really no reason to not be able to. This is a vent you can crawl around in if you're some filthy stealther. I don't know. It gets cheaper as we go down. Four. What's in you? A drug box. Vivitrazek. Take one before relations. Allow six to eight hours for swelling to subside. Orthotricycline, that's birth control, and estrogen. So this is just stuff you can sell. Except for this. This doesn't seem to be stuff you can sell, but I don't know. Maybe I just haven't found the person I can sell it to. Security. And heat. Let's see, prescription storage, no. Control stone, okay. Prescription storage, I think is the one I want. That is 
the one I wanted to be off. Okay, cool. Maybe it isn't. Hmm. No, no, that is the wrong one. Shit. There we go. That's better. Werewolf blood. Yay, we got experience points for doing that. Blood boil. Oh, it's so good. Worth the humanity loss. Yeah, but... We weren't caught on tape stealing uh, werewolf blood. That's the difference there, Shaman. That's the important part of that thing. Uh, that was the sexy pill cabinet, yep. Put it in your mailbox to send it to LaCroix. <laughs> this is Trip's place. Yeah, well, it's just laziness. Two of those humanity points are laziness. <laughs> we'll have to be real careful in the museum. my house. And hope that the beast doesn't just kick in, because the beast can just decide to come out and play, too. Which is... Well, that's why we've got all that blood in our inventory now. That was nice. One nice thing about having a bunch of finance is you do get pretty stiff dividends on buying expensive things like blood. Uh, werewolf blood. You look like werewolf blood. Chance to use what, Judge? The drugs? No. I'm not talking to you yet. Seven. Stop by my apartment when you get a chance. I'll set you up, Mercurio. Oh, cool. Don't touch the butter. The new extreme sport sweeping the nation is now on limited edition DVD. Watch superstars Iron Will McMahon, Brock Dryhands Hines, and the Margarine Mike Davenport as they use every bit of restraint in their body to not touch the butter. One bowl of butter, two contestants, three judges, and a hell of a lot of willpower. To order, log on to www.donttouchthebutter.vtm. That sounds exhilarating. We'll be back. We'll talk to her then. No, unfortunately. I mean, maybe. Can't use. No, sadly. They are vendor trash. So when we leave, you see, like, the quest log thing started to pop up. So we can just go back in and get a reward. But let's go see Mercurio real quick while we're out here. What's up, Shaman? Five lock across from us. I think so. We got a Masquerade Redemption for the Werewolf Blood. Shame we used a lot of our uh, humanity options up earlier. I do reload during battle. I reload after I fire a single bullet. Hey, Merc. I can do, for you, tonight? do you want some dick drugs? Oh, he didn't get anything good yet. Well, here, you can have this knife, though. Uh, that Glock's pretty nice. Want some, want some birth control? Want some dick pills? 
let me sell it. It's not worth anything. Maybe I have to have more than one or something. Have some more morphine, just in case you get into more trouble. And that was that book. I don't know what it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, I had to. It was part of a quest, Shaman. It was part of a quest. So let's go check on what's-her-face, see how she's holding up. How you doing? I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting here just like you asked. Your place is, um, nice. No, it isn't. I didn't decorate it. Is there it. something I can do for you? Anything. Just ask. Uh... Something you should know before we go. Oh. Are you married? Is that why you don't want me around? No. Uh, I'm a vampire, and you are my servant. What? Uh, you're joking, right? That's like I didn't have this conversation with her last time I did this. Some fetish term, right? Not like a <laughs> blah, blah, vampire, right? Uh, I'm afraid not. You are a ghoul. No, no, there's no such thing. You're. This isn't funny anymore. Kind of stupid, ain't she? Um. Do you want to leave forever? No, please don't leave. I don't care what you are. See, she's broken in the Stop head. Leaving. She's like super codependent. Uh. Well, I'm not going anywhere. What can I do to show my appreciation? I don't know. What about you? Me? I am not so special, you know. I go to college. I'm majoring in fashion design. I think I'm pretty creative. I just started school a year late because my my parents died. Um, car crash. No, oh, well, at least really she doesn't have any family. In my life until you came along. I feel less bad then. Oh, well, I'm here for you. <laughs> uh, I don't really need any of that. You can change your appearance okay. though. Uh, this is I'm gonna regret this, but I like it dark and gothic. Behave, Heather. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone. Uh, six. Your assistance was much appreciated in regards to the Werewolf Blood. Please find your payment in the mailbox if you haven't already done so. I think he yells at you if you get seen on camera. You might even get a masquerade violation. I'm not sure. I remember fucking it up before. <laughs> he gave us 150 bucks for doing that, though, so that's nice. So we're going to start Grout's Mansion. We're not going to finish it this video, but we'll start it. We'll get some of it done. I'll... Her appearance. Um, we will get better homes as we become more important to LaCroix. And we will... Okay, so we'll do some of Grout's Mansion. I'll take a quick break. We'll finish Grout's Mansion. We'll do some more. Because I want to look some stuff up and get something to eat. Because I've been going for several hours. I could probably go for a couple more. I'm actually feeling a lot better than I did when I got home from work. Sucked. Hop in. Yeah. Anyway, we have blood boil, and we need to use that really bad. And it's gonna be awesome. You. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Out now. What? I'm looking for grout. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. Why are you all echoey nines? What's inside? No, nines. You, no. Bitch, I am talking to you. We 
can't leave. So this is Grout's Mansion. Isn't it lovely? It's full moon. I think it's always a full moon, though. I didn't murder that lady. She seems harmless enough. That guy, not so much. Oh, shit. Shield! That's wonderful. That's just the best. So yeah, this is uh this is what we're doing now. It is quite peculiar the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural. The happenings? I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. He's a psychologist. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor oh, yeah, he's of great. sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old god has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. No, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry. That was Simon, a, but I say, that was a jab at Freud. In time, too, may your star fade and disappear. Unfortunately, Grout, I got bad news for you. Anyway, so Grout's a psychologist that was <laughs> sired by a Malkavian. Because <laughs> Malkavians have a real sick fucking sense of humor. <laughs> Uh, Grout's a good guy. And we're looking for him. We'll, we'll find him. Um, also, this place makes the Spencer estate look reasonable <laughs> and, and tasteful by comparison. <laughs> and it's full of insane people. <laughs> Tasty insane people. Uh, I got a couple minutes left. It's a subspecies of... Uh, this is a puzzle. It's a subspecies of vampires known for insanity. Perception at once shapes the mind and rules over time. However, time erodes human perception and then in turn warps the mind. The mind is capricious, having various effects on perception, time, and the mind itself with harmony progress is made. So, make everything be right. I just hit buttons until it does what I want it to do. <laughs> but this one is time, this one is perception, and this one is the mind. We need them all to be lit. Hang on, so, so he said perception, and then time, oh, whatever. We solved it. It's not a great puzzle. So that opened the door back in the main room. Open this door. Yes, it did. <laughs> I 
Now, the chicks aren't necessarily hostile all the time. I mean, they're hostile enough, but... They won't really attack you unless someone else starts attacking you. Let's, let's, uh, let's try a stealth kill with the torch. Can I? Probably. Oh, there it is. It's almost there. Uh, we just choke her with it. There, Grout's patience. Remember, he's a psychologist. An insane psychologist. <laughs> Japanese music. That's... That's delightful. Malkavians also enjoy spreading their madness to other people. Oh, someone sees me. or eight points. So we need our strength to go up. Oh, another tape. I think we'll listen to this tape and then I'll break. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity. Wish I could sit on the couch while I listen. Inspector. I match the couches. After the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview. A few simple questions of the plague-ridden woman who met her end that dawn. Of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, mewling wretches. Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. Animals. The one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night. He must be making an atrocious <laughs> So apparently his sire was one of his patients at the asylum he worked at, which is kind of awesome. And that actually explains how he would be... how he would contract Malkavianism. Anyway, quick break. <laughs> 